All right, hello everyone, this is Ms. Garcia, and today I'm just gonna walk you through some basic steps of setting up your Pear Deck uh, program that you can use with your Google Slides. So here I am on my cool slides that I use with my AP students. I'm gonna be doing a little college workshop, but I want my workshop to be interactive. This is especially important for our English language learners, our special needs students, or any student who needs to just be able to focus a little bit more. So watch what I do here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm on my Google Slides and I'm gonna to go to add-ons. So I can first find the add-ons by, go uh, by going here to get add-ons. And this is a free program for now, and you'll find it there. So there's Pear Deck, right? And so once you have it, on your file here, you uh, can just click on it and it'll open. And so it'll look like this. Now they do say they're going to be charging for the premiums. I haven't had to pay anything and I still have all a slew of templates that I can use. So I'm gonna click here where it says our uh, template library and it's going to give me just different options. So I can choose something from the beginning of the lesson as you can see here during or end, but I can also take a look at some of these things here. Uh, if I want to add something on social emotional, for example, this is a great way to start my class. Sometimes I just want to do a, a quick check in to see how they're doing. So for example, I might do a stress check. Now, if I choose this one, uh, the student's names will be anonymous, so you don't get to see their name. So that kind of allows them to feel a little bit more free. And you can kind of just take a gauge of how the class is doing. So it's going to ask the students to choose a little dot and they're going to, you know, decide, okay, where are you at? And that way you can kind of address the class and see if, you know, where they're at, how fast you should go and so forth. So you could do this little stress check. Now, something else I like to also do at the beginning of my class is after we learn, do our learning targets and I go over the agenda, uh, I might want to add something like this. Okay, I, I spoke for about, you know, five, seven minutes. Let's process what I, what I was talking about and see if there's something you'd like to ask me. So maybe I pose this one. Now, the cool thing here is that I could actually change the question. I can make this a warm up, like what's your favorite ice cream? Or how was your weekend? What did you do? I can be more direct and say, uh, go ahead and choose, um, right, a, a question you like to ask other students. So again, I could change this. I can even change the image if I wanted to, if you think it's a little bit too elementary like. So after I have these, uh, again, I can go back to uh, my other uh, ones here. Let's say I'm already teaching my lesson. I can have them summarize. I can ask yes, no questions, all kinds of things. I can even do a thinking map. Um, I could put things in chronological order. So you can kind of just look at those templates there. So let's say I'm ready to uh, to start my uh, program here. So I'm gonna go to start lesson. And the cool thing is that you can decide if you want them to follow you. And so this would be instructor paste and meaning that on their, uh, they can be following on their cell phone. They could be, they can open a, a tab here on their computer, or you can even do this as asynchronous, meaning you can assign this for homework or if a student, you know, if you want them to kind of move ahead or go back to a slide, you can do a student paste one. So I like to do the instructor paste and it's gonna ask you to choose your account. So there's my account. And then it's gonna provide this screen. So I have this screen open every every day whenever I'm ready to teach my class as my students are logging into Zoom. They already know that they're going to go here. And notice there is no link I have to give them. They're just gonna to go to this website, joinpd.com. And then it's gonna ask them to put in this code. Now they do need a Gmail account. So they will go here and it's gonna ask them to write their name. So I always tell them, you know, give me your real name. And I could give them a link here, as you can see here, All right? And so if I click X, this code will show up on the top here. And my students already know if they, you know, come in a little late to the Zoom meeting, they can just see the code up at the top, right? Okay, so now I am here and I'm gonna show you here at the bottom. And so as I am teaching, I can then move my slides and this is what they would see on their screen. Again, some students like to do this on their cell phone while they're on, you know, the computer or Zoom, or they can just follow along on their phone. And again, you know, I just have them answer that. When students are presenting, when as they're answering, I can go here to show response and it'll give me live feedback of what students are writing or posting. Uh, I can then go here. Uh, 
I gave my agenda and then they're answering here. So once again, I as they're writing, I can go ahead and see their answers. It is anonymous. And so you do have to ask students to write their name. And there's different layouts I can have where I can have individuals, uh, I can see individual answers, or I can look at them as a whole class. Let's say I, as I'm teaching, I realize, you know, I've been talking a lot. I need to pause for a second. So take a look at this homework. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. So I can add a prompt as I'm teaching. So let's just say, okay, um, go ahead and, you know, let's talk about what did you know already? What is it something I still want to, uh, you want to learn about? And then what did you learn of today's lesson? So I might close off my lesson doing something like this. There's also these other cool ones where they can draw. Uh, I like to use this one as, okay, please reflect on today's lesson. And they can ask you questions, things like that. Uh, so again, once I am done, uh, there's a couple of things I can do here. When I it ends, if I hit end, it'll ask me if I want to save it. So I can go ahead and save it and put, you know, this is my AP Lit class and it was for, you know, the date. And so it, just in case I want to send this out to any absentees, I can do that too. So that's basically it for uh, the Peer Deck. Uh, sometimes, again, uh, my students really have enjoyed this. It keeps them active. They're not laying down in bed, taking a nap. They actually have to be writing all of the time. And uh, it, that way also those who are a little bit more shy and don't like to participate verbally can still work on their literacy skills by writing things out. You're paying attention to, uh, to see if they're listening, are they understanding? So really powerful tool. I know we're kind of, um, you know, bombarded with so much technology that you can use, but this is one that I really highly encourage all of you to use. So hopefully that helped and thank you so much for listening.